Welcome to CCS Quick Tips. For this quick tip, I'll show a demonstration on how to get started quickly with CCS and the MSP432 Launchpad using the out-of-box experience demo example that comes with MSPWare. The first thing to do is to install CCS. I'll start this by running the CCS installer executable that I downloaded from the CCS download wiki site. Some prompts appear, rec recommending that any antivirus software and firewalls be temporarily disabled while installing CCS. Whether this is really needed depends on the security software being used, as some are more aggressive than others. I normally leave them on unless I run into an actual issue during the installation. I have the default Microsoft security software running on this PC, and they are known to not cause any issues. So I'm just going to leave them running and continue. Next, I'll carefully read the license agreement. Hit the checkbox to agree to it. And move on. Next, I'll change the default installation location to something different. I'll install just the components I need for MSP. This will install the components needed for MSP430 and MSP432. If you will only use the MSP432, you can disable the components for MSP430. But I'll just leave them alone, however. Note that the GCC ARM compiler is not enabled by default. If you want to use the GCC ARM compiler, you can enable it here so that it is installed. Next up, I can choose which debug probes I want to install support for. Some are required and enabled by default. The others, like support for other third-party debug probes, are optional. To use the integrated XDS-110 debug probe on the MSP432 launchpad, I don't need to enable anything more. So I can just hit finish to kick off the installation. The installation will take a bit of time, so let's step away for a bit and come back when it is all done. And we're back. And the installation has finished. I'll leave the default option to generate a desktop shortcut and we'll launch CCS with it. As it's launching, I'll be prompted for the workspace folder location, which I'll just use the default. CCS will appear with the Getting Started page open. Let's click on the App Center to look for additional CCS add-ons. From the App Center, let's get MSPWare, which has some examples we need for the Launchpad. And another license agreement uh, to agree to here. And MSPWare will start to download. This will take a few moments, so let's step away again and come back when it's finished downloading. We're back, and the download has finished, and the installation has started. As mentioned in the dialog, we've installed an add-on with example projects of which we will indeed use. Now we need to restart CoComposer to, for the changes to take effect, so yes, we will restart. Again, asking me for the workspace location. And when I launch CCS, it'll detect some new components or new products to uh, install. 
those products are the MSPWare add-on that we just installed so we'll leave those all checked and hit finish and again we need to restart one more time and finally we're done next I'll open the resource explorer to browse the MSP wear package from here I can browse to the out-of-box experience project for the MSP 432 The next step I'm about to show regarding the building and loading of the out-of-box experience demo isn't required since the launchpad comes with the demo program flashed on it by default. However, I'll cover those steps to show how to work with example projects in CCS. Selecting the project will allow me to use the tutorial steps to help me import, build, and debug the project. Step 1 would be to import the example project into CCS here you can see that the project has been imported and the green check mark indicates the success of a step. The second step would be to build this imported project. As we can see the project is building and this may take a little bit of time. successfully completed and we got the green check mark for a step 2. For step 3 we can see that it's already been completed for us so that leaves the last step which is to debug the imported project. Note that the launch pad needs to be connected to the host machine using the provided USB cable before this step is executed. This last step will launch the debugger, connect CCS to the launch pad, load the program and run to main. I'll press the resume button to execute the program and one of the LEDs should start to blink. I've set up a webcam to show a video feed of my launch pad with the blinking LED. Now I'll go back to the resource explorer and launch the out of box experience GUI. Launching the GUI may take a bit of time. Once the GUI is open, I can connect the GUI to the launch pad using the connect button. Once the connection has been established, I can open a serial connection to the launch pad. The GUI usually detects the correct serial port and provides it as the default option. Once the serial connection has been established, the GUI will update and I can use the interface to change the color and blink rate of the LED. So right now, the blinking LED is red. I can change it by clicking on this color wheel. So you now I've changed it to green, blue, purple, pink, so forth. I can also change the blink rate of the LED, make it faster, really fast, or slow. Maybe that's too slow. and this is the out-of-box experience demo. I hope you found this quick tip useful. Thanks for watching.